is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! Women empower women. We're daughters, wives, sisters, and mothers making strides in our own lives. We're women in sports, and what matters to you matters to us. Let's talk about it all on The Playmaker. Here's your host, Nikki Harrison. Hello, and welcome to The Playmaker. I am so excited because I have two ladies from our legal department with me today. Let me introduce you to Associate Counsel, Kalisha Stewart. Really? Thank you for joining me. Thanks Heavy hitters me. today. <laughs> <laughs> and Katie Wood, you are the Legal Administrative Assistant. Yes, that's correct. So, so excited. Um, first of all, let's just start at the beginning. How, how long have the both of you been with the Dallas Cowboys? So this is my fourth season. I started in February of 2016. Okay. What about you, Katie? And I was just a little after Kalisha. I start, started in October of 2016. So, okay. So, just over three years. When you got here, we were already here at the yes, start in Frisco. We're and you here. got here, we were transitioning the whole moving process. Exactly right. So, I got a little taste of Valley Ranch. Um, this is definitely a different animal. Definitely a different <laughs> animal. Um, what's your education background? What, how did you get to the Dallas Cowboys? So I went to the University of Iowa okay. and um, wasn't going down a sports related path necessarily. Um, moved to Texas about seven years ago and um, I was working in a legal recruiting firm um, in an administrative role there. And um, one of my um, former coworkers, mentor, had moved on to a different agency and um, she was helping place someone with the Cowboys in my now role and um, thought of me and helped connect the dots. And so been here three years now. That's awesome. Yeah. What about you, Kalisha? Yeah. Uh, so I, my undergrad was at Texas A&M. I studied economics and political science and knew pretty early on that I wanted to go to law school. So after, um, after I graduated, I went out to California to Stanford for law school. And just like any good Texan girl, I came back home to start, <laughs> you know, start my career in Texas. That's so awesome. Yeah. So how, how do you guys like working in sports? I love it. Love it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much fun. Um, I mean, it's still a job, you know, as a, as a lawyer, just like I would be at any other company. We're upstairs doing contracts and mm -hmm. managing litigation and things like that. But um, it really is a fun organization to work for. What about you, Katie? I love it. Um, I, you know, I'm a huge sports fan. I'm not an athlete really myself, mm -hmm. but I love to watch all sports. My Same. brother growing up yeah. and love uh, professional sports. So to get to work for, you know, the most well-known franchise in the world is pretty, pretty exciting. Absolutely. Now, working in legal, um, everything basically starts with you or ends. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it ends, sadly. Yeah. Yes. What is that like to, to literally touch everything that the organization is involved in? Well, I, th I think it's a really lucky position to be in because we really kind of are the hub in a lot of ways. Um, it's our job to help connect the dots for all of our clients in different departments. And so it's really fun to have that bird's eye view and be able to really expect things com to coming down the pipe. And um, so it, it's a great position to be in. I think uh, for our legal department, we really try to be partners with our clients. And so it's, it's a lot of fun that way. And... I mean, it's really awesome, but the legal department here at the Dallas Cowboys is pretty much all women, except for our lead counsel, yeah. Jason, yes. but it's all women. Yeah. yeah. Rocking and rolling. Yeah. What is that like? It honestly makes me really proud. Uh, I think that, you know, you hear a lot of things about how uh, the sports is such a male dominated industry and it's mm -hmm. not wrong, but one area where women have been able to have a lot more representation is in legal and uh, as part of legal, our job is to protect the company. So I think I feel really proud and excited to be part of um, our team and how, um, you know, kind of women focused it is. Yes. Um, and we're not alone. Actually, across the league, a lot of um, club councils um, are women and it's we're increasing in numbers all the time. So it's wonderful. Girl power. <laughs> yes, I love it. How do you feel, Katie? It's great. And I also help um, help out in the accounting department some oh, and awesome. help uh, support our CFO. And I was thinking about it today, and I would say it's about 75% women in the accounting department as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're really... Uh, 
upping those numbers in our organization across a lot of departments. So it's really exciting. Yeah. That's so great. Absolutely. Yeah. Now you bring up other clubs. How how difficult is it, or is it difficult, to? Because I, I have a, I can only imagine that you're constantly learning, mm -hmm. um, especially with the way things are done today with social media and streaming. You're having to figure out ways how we still do our business and then manage things that are still mandated by the NFL. Yeah. I bet a lot of people don't even realize that the NFL still, you know, is the head entity of all of the clubs. Yeah, absolutely. We've got like all the laws and then we've got NFL law that we have to um, <laughs> yeah. kind of live under. So it is a big part of um, legal's job to help all of our departments stay within those lines that the league sets forth. But also with being part of the Dallas Cowboys, part of our job is to, to push the lines and push the NFL, which okay. is something that the family has been doing since they bought the team. Is that how, do, how is that? Is that is that tough? I mean, because like you said, we are the Dallas Cowboys. We're the first to do a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'll just throw one out there. The whole casino with Windstar, the partnership with Windstar. Yeah, being absolutely. Being Dallas Cowboys official casino. I mean, that's huge, especially with the NFL's, you know, pretty strict guidelines on gambling. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's where we're just so lucky to be, um, you know, have the ownership that we do because they're fearless and um, they're really focused on being out on, you know, the front ends of, of new horizons. And I think uh, sports betting is just a new frontier mm -hmm. and we're all pretty excited about it. Now, Katie, um, you all touch just, like I said, everything, yeah. player contracts, sponsorship contracts, protect us from ourselves yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when 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 things come up that that can be a little a uh, little dicey how do you all handle that you just have to get together and yeah you know we um we really try to divide and conquer in our department and give everyone a chance to kind of touch you know all the different departments so we'll Everyone specializes in everything, um, but you know, a lot of times there are new avenues that we're exploring. You know, new new types of sponsors that our sponsorship team is bringing us to work with, and um, we have a weekly legal meeting where we get together, and so that's a good time for us to touch point and run ideas past each other, and you know, see if we thought everything through. Mm -hmm. um, because especially if it's something new that we haven't dealt with before, you got to think of it from all the different angles Absolutely. and risk and everything involved. Wow, wow, wow. Because, I mean, would you, is it safe to say the Dallas Cowboys have the most in terms of sponsorships? Yes. Yes. It's, it's safe to say, I mean, and that's based on statistics that we get from the league. So um, our sponsorship team, just to talk about them a little, are extraordinary. Just the way that they're able to sell and, and really create value for our partners. It allows us to do so much of what we do. So. And I mean, another thing that you also have to have your hands tied up in are every, is everything that happens here at the star. Yes. All of the tenants, all of the businesses. Mm -hmm. What is that like? How does someone approach you? Well, they, they don't approach you. I guess it's already done. Then it comes to you and you finalize everything and make sure the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I um, I spend a lot of my time on managing uh, legal issues at the star. So that does include things with respect to tenant management. So okay. when tenant um, is moving in or we have a pop up going up, all of those things require contracts. So that hits our office. And so it's really cool to, to see this place come alive because when I started, we were still at Valley Ranch. Right. And we moved over here in June of 2016. And um, the retail Retail district, all of our shops and restaurants, they weren't open yet. The medical office building wasn't open yet. Okay. And so to just see it come alive has been really beautiful and it's continuing to develop. We are going to have uh, 12 Cowboys Way, which is our residential apartments, will be coming online next year. Residents will be moving in in February. Um, we've got Keurig Dr. Pepper relocating their headquarters here. That'll be another 2,000 employees here on campus. Um, so I think it's really special and that this development is gonna continue to get more awesome. And, and to speak to that, I mean, you guys are seeing so many different things happen, things that haven't happened before, like you just said, the residences. So are you having to, again, learn more and more stuff that you've not had to do before? What, what, yeah, how, what about definitely. You, I feel like any new endeavor the Jones family, you know, <laughs> decides to go into, you know, different niche areas, we all have to learn that new 
you know, area. And sometimes that means relying on um, outside counsel, you know, for some expertise here and there. Um, you know, sometimes you mentioned the different NFL teams. Mm -hmm. If they have, you know, um, gone before us or, you know, um, have some experience with streaming platforms or, you know, whatever the case may be, then we're able to reach out and kind of swap ideas and what worked and what didn't. Um, oh, that's good. So that's, you know, really nice to have that as a, as a backup, you yeah, know, Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Completely agree. But I think one area where we're lucky is that our general counsel, Jason Cohen, really believes we could work pretty much on anything. <laughs> so um, a lot of it is really trial by fire and figuring it out. And, you know, we're not doing brain surgery over here. You know, it is something that we can, um, you know, if we really just put our heads down and put our heads together, Figure really. <laughs> Katie mentioned our department meeting, and, and that's just one example of how we communicate with each other. And it's always, it's something that's really important in our department. That's yeah. fabulous. Now, you both have worked on some big projects here with the Dallas Cowboys. Talk a little bit about some of your favorites. I'll start with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, we talked about it a bit before, but I would have to say the star. Um, okay. That's it's what I spend most of my time on, I would say. And also, I credit the star with the reason why I work here. So I started working here again in February of 2016. We were just about to move to the star. And that's when Jason looked up, our general counsel looked up and said, I could probably use a, another lawyer around here. And so that's kind of how I got my foot in the door, why the timing was right for me was because we were coming to this place so it is very special you know in that regard and it just continues to present new challenges as we have different partnerships for example our Omni partnership or um, our partnership with Mark Mastroff with uh, Cowboys Fit so we're oh, yeah. basically lawyers for a gym now yes. so it's just <laughs> there's always um, new things going on here so it, it's a really special property to me um, and I actually live like five minutes away from here I can see the property from my house oh, so it's nice. um, <laughs> so no traffic for you yeah, yeah. so it, it really is a, a special place and and one of my favorite projects that I'm on what about you Katie um, I guess kind of like an overall project I've enjoyed during my time with the Cowboys is helping work on different trainings and also kind of team building opportunities um, like with our department um, teaming up with other departments in the organization mm -hmm. trying to help um, you know educate different departments in different areas whether it be we have an upcoming uh, training with outside counsel to help us with IP and trademark um, oh, wow. you know kind of issues or topics um, because that touches so many different departments in our organization and by spreading kind of that knowledge to other people then um, you know they don't have to just come to us when they're you know in trouble or down to the last <laughs> second you know yes. it, it it empowers them to you know kind of take charge as well so helping with some of those trainings and then also just like team building opportunities so we get to know people in different departments that we might not have as much face to face with on a daily basis but opening up those relationships then when you know, they keep us at top of mind to come to legal if they have a question, you know, feel comfortable, things like that. That's so awesome. And yeah, you guys important. do, as a department, you do a lot of fun stuff outside of work. Yes, you know, going to do. games together yeah, or, or uh, doing our community relations um, opportunities mm -hmm. that we have. Talk yeah. a little about that. How fun is it um, for all of you all to work together? You go. Well, we have a fun little department. We're, we're small but mighty. Yes. And, and that's, that right there is amazing, the, the fact that you are small. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. But we do enjoy um, North Texas Food Bank. We've gone as a department a few times, so we've enjoyed doing that, um, participating in the angel tree donations here, or ringing the bell, things like that for the community outreach portion. But, you know, we love to go to the games and the different third-party events, like concerts and such at the stadium. Um, most of us in the department really enjoy working out too, mm -hmm. at least as a stress reliever. So mm -hmm. sometimes so we'll good. go to workout classes together, things like that. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, sometimes I think of legal as like like mommy and daddy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> especially so especially for that. like the media department. <laughs> the good and the bad. Because exactly. yeah. it's like we'll, we'll come up with this great idea, ready to execute <laughs> it, roll it out, and then everybody's on board and Keep we're like, oh, check. we got to go check with legal. <laughs> What is that like when you when you get these ideas and 
like you don't even know what it might mean. You have to research <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and find out what what is this? What is TikTok? You know, right? What I'm totally. <laughs> That's a perfect example. Yeah. How do, how does that work? Um, well, yeah, we definitely have to do some research and things like that. But that's one of the things that's so great about working here is because we have teams like like yours, like like brand and media and marketing and our events team that come up with these <laughs> crazy ideas. <laughs> and um, but the, but they're ideas that really resonate with our fans. And at the end of the day, um, our fans are what allow us to do so much, what have allowed us to be the most visible franchise in the world. So I, I love it. It makes me really really excited to come to work, to be able to kind of not know what's going to be thrown at us every day. Um, but our department, we really try not to be a wall of no. Uh, our goal is really to say yes, and here's how we can do it. Um, we'll avoid as much as possible to say no, you know, and if it, the answer is no, we'll blame it on the league. No, yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. kidding. No. Um, no, but uh, I think that really comes from uh, the culture that the legal department um, developed since before Katie or I even mm -hmm. got here. So mm -hmm. our director of legal operations, her name's Diana Lambert. Yeah. She's been here since the early 2000s and w really saw the birth of our legal department. And it's really the relationships that she cultivated early along with some, a couple of our other paralegals to develop those relationships across um, across the company where people feel comfortable to come to us with their ideas and know that we won't ever say no if we don't have to. Got it. Very good. we love seeing it come to fruition. Oh fruition, you know, because I, I can only so miss. creative, like, baby. You yeah, know, like, oh, I, I heard about this, and now it's, it's happening. It's so cool. <laughs> it's really the best. That's awesome. Now you yeah. spoke about um, accounting being like seventy-five percent women. Yeah. What is it like being here at an organization where there's so many influential women making power moves, getting it done? What is that like to be? in an organization like this. It's great because you can really feel the passion, you know, across the organization, whether it be male or female. Mm -hmm. um, but to have, you know, a leader like Charlotte Jones Anderson, who's the most passionate, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. about not only the organization, but women's, you know, initiatives, um, especially. It's contagious. It really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just like her spirit and her, you know, zest for you know mm -hmm. wanting more and better and to be more inclusive and everything so I think that's really encouraging to, to see that and then also see her put it into action in our organization and just kind of across sports mm -hmm. that's so, so awesome yeah now I know you went to law school yes did you study law any in school did you want to get into so originally I was going to go into nursing okay and then once I started taking those classes, I decided it wasn't quite right for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how nurses do it. Shout out to them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, so thankful for them. Um, but, and my dad is actually a lawyer, but I never thought I'd get into the legal field necessarily. Okay. Um, but when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do next, I um, did take some paralegal courses. So got like my two year degree in that. Um, then finished my four year degree and kind of went the recruiting route. Um, so learned a lot about like the corporate side of lawyers and yes. recruiting uh, attorneys to work in-house places like the Cowboys. Got it. So, um, so that's kind of how I got my foot into the legal world. Okay. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I have a question about the legal world uh -oh. <laughs> and I know I can't be the only person that wants to know this, but I'm going to ask it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the language in contracts, why is it so like formal and hard to understand. <laughs> Um, to protect lawyers' jobs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. But um, really, when it comes to, to contracts and that legalese that you see, it's because a lot of times when there is litigation that comes later, uh, you're arguing over a comma or, you know, what does it mean to be an actual chicken? You know, like having those definitions are so key um, up front so that everyone really understands what is the agreement here? So that if something happens later on down the road, someone doesn't live up to their agreement, we have this document that really accurately reflects what we agreed to. Okay. And so that way we could show the judge and say, hey, see, they didn't do X, Y, and Z. <laughs> but I think that's what it really comes down to. And a lot of, I mean, it could be a lot more user-friendly. That's true. Yes. Um, and that's something that we, we definitely like to do as much as possible for our forms, keep them short. It'll make it more likely that, that uh, folks will read them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's, that's what it comes down to. Really is just protecting our butts. 
Got it. And I feel like the, the legal department, Kalisha, Diana, Jason, everyone does a good job um, trying to explain to the different folks around the organization that are working on said contract. Yes. Um, trying to explain it and, you know, kind of for better term, dumb it down so that when they're talking to their client, when the client has a question, they can try and explain it too mm -hmm. so that everyone gets on the same page as best as possible from the, the jump so that everyone knows what they're signing at your point. Yeah. So, and with our legal trainings that I mentioned, uh -huh. you know, trying to kind of explain some of these hard terms that yes. I don't even understand mm -hmm. completely, Definitely. but like trying to, you know, get that in their heads, uh, you know, helps the whole process go a little smoother sometimes. Right. Well, for a while I've been managing um, our media contracts yes. for mm -hmm. our radio and television yep. affiliates. And the first time I was reading through force majeure. Oh, I was like, gosh. What is this? And Diana said, well, basically, it means you won't talk bad about us and we won't talk bad about you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well, then that makes sense. But it is this long <laughs> paragraph of all these words. And I'm just like, I don't even know what I just read. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, right. So fun. Well, before we wrap, I have some fun rapid fire questions. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> these are always fun. Okay. I will start with you, Kalisha. Okay. What time does your alarm go off every morning? 7.15. Well, that's nice. I know, no kids. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What about you? Um, well, around 6.30, but I hit snooze a couple times. Yeah, that's so... not the same question as when do you get out of bed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we won't go there. It varies. <laughs> What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Uh, brush my teeth. Okay, what about you? Uh, go to the bathroom. Okay, yep. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee. Coffee, me too. Alrighty, what's something on your makeup counter right now that you can't live without? Oh, okay. So there's this um, herbivore green clean. So it's not, it's all one counter. It's um, a uh, makeup remover, okay. but it's kind of the consistency of a really thick cream. So it's not all drippy on your face when you're trying to wash it. So you put it on, it basically feels like a really thick cream and you can kind of wipe it off with a wet washcloth and it's just like a much more clean and easy way to wash your face as opposed to you know your traditional cleanser where your shirt's wet and it's the whole thing <laughs> yes. um so i i love it it's by her before it's called green clean oh i'm gonna have to look that up yeah. that sounds awesome good stuff what about you um well i really love makeup and skincare so it's hard to pick one yeah. but I guess makeup route, um, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara okay. is my ride or die. Okay, so, that's your jam. Yes, <laughs> love, love. All right, <laughs> beach vacation or snowy mountains? Beach every time, for sure. Yeah, same, <laughs> beach. I mean, I'm from Iowa and I moved south for, you know, yeah. a reason. The <laughs> winter, the snow. yeah. <laughs> right. I love it. Okay, somewhere in the world you've been longing to go to but haven't gotten there yet. South Africa. Mm, nice. Yeah, it looks so beautiful, yeah. so much history. I would love to go there. The flight's yeah. just so long. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If we can fix that. Okay. Yeah, and get a month off of work, you know, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Totally. Mine's Italy. Okay. And I actually just ordered my 2020 calendar for my uh, little cube, and it's an Italy calendar. Nice. So, you know, maybe by 2020 I can make, you know, the end, make it happen, or at least plan for 2021. Yeah. There you go. That's oh, my you're goal. putting it out there. Exactly. That's what putting I, it out there. <laughs> okay. Kalisha, if you were not associate counsel for the Dallas Cowboys, what would you be doing? I think I'd like to be a physical therapist. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I just, I, I, I love exercise and I just, I have had in, um, injuries myself and um, physical therapists can make such a big impact on that. And mm -hmm. so Definitely. That seems like a really cool field. Awesome. Really make an impact. And what about you? If you were not an administrative assistant for the legal department? Yeah. <laughs> I would probably either be um, kind of um, hospital administration side of things okay. um, or work for like a nonprofit, okay. um, something like that. Um, I like helping people. So yes. a route like that. So, and since you wanted to go into nursing, yeah. it, you must really like medical stuff. I really do. Um, I think I probably would have gotten burnout as a nurse, uh -huh. you know, being long hours every single day. Um, but still being involved in the medical field um, was something that initially out of school drew me to, you know, consider um, like hospital administration type awesome. side of things. Very so, cool. Yeah. 
Well, ladies, we, we're done. This oh, is fabulous. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for inviting us. Absolutely. Of course. Please, Please come back anytime. <laughs> Our legal it. ladies are awesome. <laughs> 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 thank you so much, and thank you to the crew pushing the buttons, making us look great. We'll see you next week right here on The Playmaker.